God called me into music and into ministry when I was 17 years old. I remember that night specifically. I remember God looking at me and saying, Britt, you've given me part of your heart, but you haven't surrendered everything. And tonight I'm asking you to surrender your life to me. And I remember I was driving down the road. I had just finished teaching dance. I used to teach dance classes. I was, I was driving down the road and as I was driving, I know this is dangerous, don't ever do this, but I was trying to lift my hands because I wanted to say to God, Lord, I'm giving you my life. I'm giving you my all. Use me, God, for your kingdom and for your purpose. And tonight, that's what he's asking of you. He's saying, will you give me your life? Will you lay down everything for me? Whether it's a relationship, if it's a boyfriend or girlfriend, if it's an addiction, if it's something that's holding you back, will you lay it down for the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. And I remember being afraid and saying, God, I know you're calling me into ministry, but I don't think I can do this. And God gave me a scripture that I, I quoted and I rem I've remembered it. I say it all the time and I want to share it with you tonight. It's 1 Chronicles 28, 20. And it says, be strong and courageous and do the work. Don't be afraid or discouraged by the size of the task. For the Lord my God is with you. He will never fail you. He will never forsake you. How many of you guys know that that is true tonight? <laughs> but we serve a God who will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And I remember looking back at him and saying, God, for you, I'm going to set this world on fire. Yeah. Let's worship him tonight. Yeah. I want to set the world on fire until it's burning bright for you. It's everything that I be the one you use. I, I am small, but you, you are big enough. I, I am weak, but you, you Lord, are strong enough to
that you can set this world on fire. Yes, you can.